Hey guys, this is Gunner again. Yeah, sorry for the, for the, I guess for those three, I guess three days. Or something like that. But, you know. And now, now I'm, now I'm ready to do the, to do the Applejack chapter of, of the Canterlot Tales. And also, and also finally, I now have, I now have Adam, Adam as a, as a friend on Skype, so, uh, we've, we've actually, we've actually, like, talked a few times, like, actually, we've, this is, like, my, my third time talking to him right now, so, well, I told him, I told him the that I'm doing this chapter right now, and uh, I'll talk to him later, so. And this, this guy sent so many pictures to me, so many, so many stories to request, and it's crazy, but, uh, you know, I'll try, I'll try to do them, you know. I'll see how much I can fit in, fit in my schedule, so. Well, anyways, this is, this is, this is the Cadillac Tales Applejack. Also, this this chapter is pretty long, like like around thir like thirteen thousand chapters. I mean thirteen thousand words. So so I I will be doing a, a like multiple parts for this, as well as the Rarity and Pinkie Pie chapters. So all right, come on, you piece of you grumble to yourself. I just put coolant in and changed the air filter. What more could bang? Thick white smoke billows from from out under under the hood of your wounded wounded Trans Am. Yay! I got a Trans Am. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I'm just gonna think about using the the Smokey and the Bandit one. Those 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 cars are the best. Your once fast and sexy ride is on its last legs, motherfucker. You pulled over. You pulled over to the side of the dirt road, and popped the hood. Again, you step out into the dry sweltering heat. The tall grass to either side of the road waves at you, mocking your misfor misfortune, misfortune in the hot summer breeze. You fan the smoke away and lean over, lean over the sick engine. What's wrong with you this time, Jesse? You, yes, you, you ask your, you ask yourself and. As much as your, as much as your vehicle, you spend most most of an hour trying to dis discern the cause of the trouble. The rest of it, relieving your best night with her. A warm summer night overlooking Ponyville. A case of beer and your, f and your first love. You shift you shift your uncomfortable length and slam slam the hood shut. You find no no cause or fix for the trouble, just a dirty shirt and a dry throat. You wipe your hands again with the greasy ban bandana, allowing, allowing the last of your, your warm water, warm water, and remove your shirt. Jesse refused to start. No surprise. You lock, you lock your, you lock your door and begin, begin your trek towards Ponyville. <laughs> apparently, apparently I named, apparently I named the car Jesse. After a three mile hike, you see a big red mailbox next next to a wide driveway. You tiredly slapped it, the metal toying satisfying. You finally arrive at civilization, the red the residence of the Apple family, or so say the, the orange letters in the mailbox. You turn You turn to walk up the driveway, you're exhausted you're exhausted and have stopped sweating. You know you know that's a bad sign, but at least you're almost safe. You spy, you spy the the farmhouse at last. 
a large red building, building with green shutters and white posts, supporting supporting an awning over the porch. You wipe your you wipe your brow. The back of your dirty dirty red dirty hand sticks to your to your hot forehead. You lift your fist wearily to knock the door three times. A cute little red-haired red-haired child enters within seconds, crayons in her hand. Oh, howdy, mister. How can I help you? She asks. She, she can't be more than 12 years old. She timidly avert, averts her eyes from yours, looking at your shoes. Uh, you try to... You try to speak, and you have no voice. You, you swallow painfully. Your hot throat hurts. You, you cough hard and try again. I'm Tristan, and my car... Car broke down. <clears throat> can I have some water, miss? You hold your you hold this shut up shut up a little in front of you, please. Sure, uh, Mr. Tristan. The the little girl scampers inside. You stand in you stand in you stand in the doorway. You realize your shirt has been off this entire time. You slip it on hastily. The conditioned air wafting up wafting out of the entryway to the to the farmhouse is, is enjoyable. You notice that the inside is clean and modestly furnished. In the kitchen, you hear conversations with conversation with southern drawls. You take one step step inside and, and spy the little girl with the big blue cup, fo followed by an elderly woman, her likely her grandma or her aunt or something. Granny says to invite you in. The type the type tells you, and my name's Applebloom. It's a pleasure pleasure to meet you, Tristan. I tried to teach my manners and. What and what does she do? I'm trying to teach her manners. And what does she do? Granny, as she, as she called, pauses, pauses her speech and looks at you. She leaves a thirsty. She leaves a thirsty stranger hanging on my doorway. Oh, look at you! Your face is red as a plum dropped in red paint. She leads you inside, rambling on and on about how her, how in her day, she wouldn't help an entire town if, town if it meant she'd be work, work to the bone and didn't get paid more than a, than a hey penny. Granny, Granny takes the the cup and some, the cup and hand, and hands it, hands it to sitting, sitting you down on on an old couch. Apple Bloom shoot, shoots you an apologetic shrug and skips off. You, you slurp, you slurp greedily from the from the cup she gave you. Water has never tasted so delicious. Why they make? Why they make me walk ten miles uphill through, a, through ten feet of snow? If I have my will, oh look at you are a thirsty dr drink drink of water. Come help, come help yourself to the kitchen, kitchen sink, Sonny. Granny helps you out unnecessarily and points you to the kitchen. I'll fetch a little apple bowl to, to go in and get you one of my grandkids, grandkids out from the orchard. Apple bloom. You heard, you heard the patter of feet as you as you drink from the cold tap, drenching your short black hair as well. Granny sends her to the orchard to find to find Applejack and Big Macintosh, little app, little Apple Bloom's older siblings. It's Instead of standing and hearing tales of Granny Smith's past, he decided to venture out, venture out into the orchard after apple bloom. You follow a white fence in the in the heat of heat of high noon, high noon for a while. The endless rows of trees to your to your right and the and the big red barn to your left, located in, located on the far side of the fence, are are quite a sight. You haven't ventured into Sweet Apple Acres, as Apple Bloom calls it, all your life. This nice place. With plenty of work and shade, has been hiding away, hiding away at the hillside, mere mere miles from your hometown. You feel tired in the heat, but the drink has definitely re refreshed your body. Applejack, Apple Bloom cries out, running swiftly into the orchard. You pick your feet up and, and give chase. Soon, two figures come come into view. One is a hulking mass of muscle, burly and wide. He appears to be carrying a large, a large crate towards the barn. The other one is a thin, lady-like figure. She's she's standing near near a tree and wiping her brow while one 
On one forearm, wins away the sweat. Her opposite, her opposite hand holds it brown, stets it. You slow, f you slow from your quick jog to a lazy saunter. She seems, she seems, she seems tired, but not exhausted. Her plaid shirt is unbuttoned and tied, and tied in, tied in a knot, revealing her slender waistline. It too is glistening with sweat in the, in the late morning sun. You try not to stare, but her abundance of curves and curves and skin makes, make, make that a very difficult task. To make things worse or better, she don't realize you're in the vicinity. You watch Apple Bloom playfully walk in front of the, one of the, the fine woman to and help, help her pick up apples. The full-grown gorgeous girl bends down to, to pick up apples as well. Her her short denim shorts look ready to burst. Her ass is so tight tight in them. You witness you witness you witness her shorts rise up rise up her toned spotless legs. You ride you ride high enough for. Before you easily imagine, imagine the the short the shorts on the on the grass instead of instead of her ass. You adjust your stiffening member in your jeans through through your pocket and approach. You crouch down to pick up a delicious looking apple and place it in the basket. Uh, hello, you ask. Jeez, I'm already starting to get hard by this. The blonde girl looks up. Her big green eyes are half half leaden with boredom, to to perk open slightly when they when they meet your eyes. Her her small nose and feminine features were gorgeous. She blinks twice, breaking her dumb gaze and pick, pick more fallen apples. I'm Tristan. You tell her my car uh, it broke down three miles west west on the road. I could use a tow, probably a mechanic after that. She adjusts her hat and looks looks over looks over an apple with a bruise. Sh she shines and bite bites into the undamaged side. Name's Applejack. She she stands straight and ex extends a hand. You take it, receiving an an, an unexpected unexpectedly firm grip and shake. She take she takes another large bite and tosses the damaged fruit over her shoulder. Despite her perspiration, maybe maybe even because of it, she has a very pleasant scent. Tell you what, sugar cube, she says. She says as she picks up a heavy basket with some strain. Have that other, have that other basket to the barn full of apples, and we'll get that car back. Apple bloom, apple bloom, fill, apple bloom, fill it up, won't you? Sure thing, sis. Little little apple bloom jumps at the at the command. Scrupulous leaves tossing. Tossing only good apples into the wooden basket at the base of the nearby tree, you turn to help, but let your eyes linger, admiring the eye candy as as it saunters away. <laughs> Talk about eye candy! You want you watch her shapely legs flex as, as she walks. Her strong calves and thighs su support her full round ass. She's she's barely thirty feet away when your eyes when your eyes vault up to her face, catching her slot. Her sly eyes. She grins, then looks forward. Applejack sits, sits the heavy load down, protruding her nice, nice behind for you to admire. She caught me gazing. You thinking? Applejack caught me, and now she's showing off her goods. <laughs> uh, she's, man, she's a total tease. Applejack s stands and shakes, shakes out your sore fingers. You place you place her right foot to the side, as if she's posing for a photo. She she cracks her knuckles and bends down again. Her tight ass looks so fine and full in those full in those tiny tiny denim shorts. She strains to lift the basket and continues. The heavy fruit splatters on your shoulder, breaking your stupor. Quit standing around, Apple Bloom. Apple Bloom picks and picks and drop drops up armful armful of apples from the from the tree she's in. We have to finish harvesting the south field by sunset. Get moving already. Wow, seriously? You white mushy yellow goop off your t shirt. How many more trees do we do we have to go? You you curse yourself for a minute to share the wood by saying we Big Mac Big Mac said it would take take the three of us all day. 
he's going to he's going to work he's going to work north from the fence while while me and AJ work south from the from the side closest to the barn barn hey apple bloom drops heavily from the tree land, landing hard oof oof you okay AB you kneel and offer your assistance I'm fine she she indignantly stands and brushes dirt off her own shirt and pants just lost my grip She's tough. She's tough, you think. At least she she wants to seem that way. Anyway, she continues. I was I was saying that we could probably probably be done in no time with you helping. I don't know, you tell her trying to best to treat her as an e as an equal a, a co worker. Seems like a lot of trees and I and I have to get I have to get my car towed. You walk over to the to the to the overfilled bushel of apples, it looks heavy, but you're but you sure you can heft it to the red barn. You take a moment to, to gaze across the orchard, all the all the trees and all the trees to your to your right where are are bare of apples, but many of the the ones that on your left are dotted with bright bright red globes of sweet fleshy fruit. We ain't getting any closer to done if when you just stand around, get moving. You heave, you heave the basket up, lifting, lifting your forelegs. The the barn seems farther than you remember. The rope handles, the rope handles sting even, even, even your hardened hands. You reach, you reach the barn, your your hands red and your arms chasing, arms aching slightly. Just just inside is Applejack, leaning on the, leaning on the wall and drinking from a canteen. Nice and cool in the shade, huh? Want a swig? You wipe your forehead and take the canteen. You, you eagerly bring it to your lips. The scent of alcohol just touches touches your nose as you take a sip. The drink is sweet, like apple pie with plenty of cinnamon. You take a larger slip. You take a larger sip, then a gulp. The aftertaste is the only part that holds any flavor of booze. Yay! I'm drinking my f all. Hey, hey, Applejack! Applejack swipes the canteen from you quickly. Apple moonshine ain't cheap to make, you know. You lick your lips and savor the lingering flavor. You made that? You can you can feel a faint a faint wave of of inebri inebriation wash over your eyes and you, as you wipe your mouth. Yep, this here's the last batch. It's it's the weakest part of the barrel, but it's sweetest. But the sweetest. She replaces she replaces the cap. She replaces the cap and slings, and slings the long leather strap to her opposite shoulder. She sets the strap so that it separates her, her large breasts under the shirt, under her shirt. The added definition is hard not to stare at. Up close, here, here in the hot sh shade of the, the barn, you can't help but to look over her amazing curves once more. Your eyes swiftly fall to her short, de short denim shorts. They're they're unbuttoned and they're unbuttoned and unzipped slightly. A, f a small bit of blonde hair is visible. She's not she's not wearing any panties. <laughs> nice. Her flat stomach is and smooth, hot and tan skin looks looks fine and fun to touch. You can't just you can just make out a small pink nub. But Applejack Applejack shifts shifts her feet together and stands straight. <laughs> Who wears short shorts? <laughs> oh wow! Hey Tristan, eyes up here. Sorry, you can feel your face running. Your flies down, by the way. Damn it! Applejack quickly fixes it. Get your ass in the house and look up. Look up the tow truck and the phone book. <laughs> uh, X Y Z. You hastily make your make your way to the house, eager to eager for something to take your mind away from AJ's fine body. She follows close behind, but passes you and, and ascends the stairs, leaving you leaving you to the to the yellow pages. You find a company in Ponyville that and give them a, a try on the old house phone. After frustrating negotiations and di and directions 
given. Long call. Long call is on his way. You hang up, releasing an, a long overdue snicker at the potential for a new adult film star name. <laughs> AJ still hasn't hasn't come down the stairs from, from her from her room, you presume. You wait around for 15 minutes or so, helping yourself to a drink and mulling, mulling, mulling over your automotive troubles. No matter what rabbit trail your mind meanders down, all paths lead to Applejack's body. The th oh, crap. Fuck you. Got that fucking number calling again. The thought, the thought of her hot skin bare, bare against her own, her bo your body on top of hers make, makes your pants tighten. The full round breasts would yield to your fingers and your pectorals. Her, her tired thigh, her tired thighs would would be, would, would part just for you. <laughs> wow. Time passes by at, at an ama an astonishingly slow pace. God damn, you think to yourself, I could have. I could have walked to my car and pushed it here by now. You pace to redistrib you pace to redistribute the blood in your body. Your dusty shoes clack on the hardwood, accompanied by a fair paint fair pair of feet above. A creed comes down down from the top of the stairs. Another, followed by a rhythmic rhythmic thunder of practiced feet. Applejack flies down the stairs. She obviously descended Descended millions of times before. She as she expertly lands on the bottom, lazily, lazily marching to the nearby person. Find a tell, Tristan. She she asks as she leans one arm on the doorway, cross, crossing one foot over the other. She looks the same as she did earlier. Her short her short shorts are still short. Her, her shirt her still revealing plenty of her naturally tan skin. Yeah, you were playing ten minutes ago. What took you so long? AJ stands and walks to the phone, standing very close to you. Just had to take care of something. Don't worry. So what? So what? Are, so what are we gonna do? Walk to your car, wait for a tow, wait for a tow, and get, get into town? You smell a sweet fragrance flo floating from her. It's not sweat, not perfume, not perfume, but some something much more natural and clean. You can't tell what it is, but it's enthralling. You hastily collect yourself. You don't want to leave this place sooner than you have to. AJ is too fine to just let go. She hasn't hinted a boyfriend, at least at least you couldn't tell, and she seems honest. Actually, if it must, if it isn't too much to ask, I'd rather have it dropped here. Then I could then I could work the work on it and get into town myself. Save a few bucks. Know anything about firebirds? Applejack Applejack crosses her arms under her breast, lifting them slightly. She lean she leans on the counter with her with her tight butt. You never envied a flat a flat surface more in your life. I know plenty, she she says. My big brother knows some more about cars though. I can change oil and then and then some, but that's about it. Well well I th well I threw up quite a quite a bit of white smoke when it died on me. I think it's the carburetor or something. I don't know. How good is your brother with cars anyway? Applejack rocks rocks forward forward onto her feet. I don't know, she said. She says in a low, quiet voice. Quite a bit. I, quite a bit. I wager. Applejack. Applejack steps behind you. Her lips extremely close to your ear. She chuckles slightly, then slaps your ass hard. <laughs> Get moving, AJ. AJ sh shoves you towards the front door. You catch yourself and turn and, and turn to look at her. She's wearing a. She's wearing a devious grin. But it's not malice in her face, it's mischief. Ooh, she... Ooh, she's gonna have fun with me. <laughs> you smile modestly and continue forward. You turn you turn forward, meaning a, a, a thick neck and a whisker, whisker chin. Who are you? A deep manly boy, voice questions. It paid... It belongs to a plaid-clad man whose physique exudes burliness. Paul Bunyan would be proud, save for save for the small beard. You step back. Your butt your butt bumps into Applejack clumsily. The corn-haired guy uncrosses his arms and places them on his on his side, and he raises an eyebrow. 
He's he's he stared down at down at you like a bouncer. My 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 name is my name's Tristan. Um, my car broke. My car broke down up the road about three miles, and Granny Smith and Applebloom let me in. I helped Applejack out in the field for a bit. A, t a tow truck's come coming out now, so so we're go. I heard I heard y'all on the phone. You seem to relax. He seems to relax a bit with your honesty. Now his voice his voice seems a lot less defensive now. What's wrong with your trans am? The I think I think it's either the coolant or the carb. Not sh not sure. Think you can take a look? I know you I know you can do it, Applejack interjects appearing at your side. We'll go and tell tell it here. You get you go and get to work finishing up the harvest. If we if we can't get that done, if we can't get that done, Applejack glances to the living room, noticing Granny Smith snoring on the rocking chair. Then the after harvest party tonight is gonna is probably gonna suck. She finishes with with, jerk, with jerking her jerking her head towards the back door. AJ's big brother submits, walking walking between 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 you, you two towards the kitchen. He grabs your sleeve firmly, pulling his his head near you. He was. You touch my sister without consent, and I'll make sure you're limping home. She'll prob she'll probably do worse to you herself. Something something like holding you by your manhood and cutting off the rest of your body. Clear. Damn, he's defensive. Damn, he's very protective. A right, a right hook will be bad, but but you definitely don't want to tarnish his honor or his sister's purity. Crystal, uh, you trail off. He stands straight and releases your sleeve, extending extending his huge hand towards you. Big Macintosh, you, sh Big Macintosh, you, sh you shake you shake his his hand, grip it. Grip his hand as hard as you can and shake. He easily matches your strength and then some. You set a degree of mutual respect, like an alpha alpha male wolf, wolf to a fellow male. See you in a few bit, Macintosh. It was it was just a powerful urge to shake out your hand as you as you turn as you turn for the door. Applejack waits, standing on the doorway. He's not lying, you know. Come on, let's get stepping. Applejack. Applejack easily trots down, trots down the porch steps and, saun and saunters down the driveway. He slowly jogs to, to meet her, ma matching her, matching her step on the path. Some bait, some bait, gra gravel crunches un under your feet. How far down are you anyway? Just a, f just a few uh, miles. The three-mile trek is long and hot, but you've. But you've plenty to talk about. An apple farm has many more interesting facets that one might imagine. You get you get a master class on on proper harvest times, planting techniques for yielding tasty, healthy, fertile fruit. And how to best and how to best harvest a f harvest a field. You stow away a few tips. You are likely going to use them later. At least at last you reach your car. It seems untouched. The black hood is scalding hot, hot, scalding hot in the in the high noon heat. You unlock, you unlock, you unlock and open the door, reeling, reeling, in, reeling at the the blast of cooked there, cooked there rushed, rushed up upon your face and nose. Jesus, you brought them. How long did that walk take? Take AJ? Two hours? Three? You pop the hood with the with a quick movement. Um, Applejack, I'd say closer to one and a half, two. We're gonna be here a minute then. Tow trucks, tow truck is gonna leave at noon. Be here around one o'clock, one o'clock probably. Applejack tip, tips her head up and looks. Did you plan this downtown, Tristan? I uh, you trail off, unable to hide a grin. You honestly hadn't, but well, what was one hour? Just one hour in the hot sun, 
the two the two of you alone. Applejack Applejack wearing 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 barely two, two square feet of clothing. There wasn't anything wrong with that. She was already sweating. So were you. No, I didn't. Why? You complaining that you get to wait instead of work? Applejack releases a pleased chuckle, smiling wife. Well, well, when you put it that way, she leaves the sentence hanging like a leaf in the wind. She slowly walks over to the driver's side door, what, behind which you stand. She places her forearms, forearms on the top, leaning, leaning heavily on, into the the glass with her large chest. AJ reaches reaches her face out towards you, less than a foot away. You know, I caught you gazing about a dozen times on the way here. You go up and avert your eyes. Her tone is extremely seductive, but that but that could easily be a trap. Well, uh, you do have uh, how how to put the how to put this. You scan the clouds for an answer. You have a great fucking rat. Do you get me? Do you get me? Your eyes meet and you and you'll wait to meet your fate. <laughs> oh jeez. AJ's face is a mixture of shock and amusement. She pushes on the door and stand and stands up straight, making her her tits jiggle just the just the slightest bit. Hey, at least I can be honest honest about it. She she applies nonchalantly. She pulls her she pulls her chest to the door again, push, pushing her breast without shame shame onto the glass. She whips her long braided ponytail over her sh over her shoulder and bites her lip, looking directly into her eyes. We got an hour in a canteen full of moonshine. Applejack pull, pulls the collar of her plaid work shirt open slightly. Sure is hot out. Mind if I take this off? AJ, we're on the road. Anyone could, anyone could come by and spot us. AJ takes off her overshirt, moving her chest under, under her, under her tight, soft and stained undershirt. I don't think any car is gonna come by anytime soon. She said with the faintly pleading tone. We could we can go in the grass and make out if you'd rather. Oh wow. You glance you glance toward the waving grass that mock that mocked you earlier. Now you wonder if this this is the the field's way of apologizing. It's a silly notion but you grin at it anyway. Fuck yeah, you tell her. Applejack giggles thoroughly, making her making her way around run her your car door, car door to you. She pulls herself on top of you as you, as you lean back against the the left rear quarter panel. Her big breasts heave under under your tight green shirt. Huh? What a surprise! I'm actually wearing green. You want, you watch and uh, put your hands on her hips, pulling pulling her pulling her waist to yours. Two of your fingers rest rest on her hot skin, just above the sexy slim waist of her incredibly. Sh Short shorts. You want, you want, you want to slide your pointed fingers under her pants and slip them off, but but you just trace trace the skin above the skin above her belt loops instead. God, I'm hot in this heat. AJ whispers to your face. Take him off. Take all my clothes off. Here and now, or in or in the grass. I don't fucking care. You look up to her eyes. Her expression is crystal clear. AJ's face is painted with, with surface in anticipation. I have a soft blanket in the trunk. He's, I have a soft blanket in the trunk, you say back. Let's take that into the grass. But first, you, tra you trail off, you trail off slowly kissing, kissing Applejack's lovely mouth. The soft and moist lips taste the, taste the sweet spiced apples. You can feel AJ's hot breath in your mouth. In your mouth every time you kiss her again. It is almost too much not to just just grab her ass and pull and pull her close to you. Applejack ex exhales hotly through your nose and fall, falls into your arms. You find you find her tongue tracing tracing the ins the inside the inside of your lips and, f and force your force yourself to just tease it with yours. Your hand your hands and groin groin ache ache to Applejack's t Applejack's naked body. You push onto AJ's shoulder gently, breaking the kiss. Tristan, oh God! Applejack pushes, pauses to breathe hard. 
touch me, just touch me everywhere. She moves forward, pressing her pressing her big soft breast against her chest and to, to kiss and suck on your neck. Her magnificent front compresses into into your hard chest. The, the, the fine fabric of her thin shirt feels soft. He easily flows from her tits to your, to your bare sweaty chest. She bites down gently and your, and your hands move move, move to your lower back. Once one slides to her to her round barely covered ass. Your finger your fingers slip under the under her pants to, to feel her tight skin over her toned muscles. It's hot and damp with perspiration. You squeeze you squeeze gently at first, but then quite hard. Applejack gasps with pleasure, her mouth wide and panting over the bite marks. Applejack looks over looks over her shoulder, watching watching your fingers grow grow her slick skin. She fishes your hand out with and raises and raises herself raises herself up at eye level. She, she guides it she guides it to her waist, looking at looking at you with permissive eyes. Without a single word, she knows what she wants. Needs more. Your other hand slowly slides up underneath her shirt, gliding gliding along her flat stomach. You read you reach one breast, cr cradle, cradle, in a, in a modest, modestly sturdy, sturdy bra cup. You give it, you give it a healthy squeeze, forcing a loud moan from the bottom of AJ's lungs. She's more horny than you can, you could have anticipated. You quickly pull Applejack's shirt over her head, exposing her tender, smooth skin. You, you ignore her hat as it, as it tumbles in, into the driver's seat. She's breathing heavily, leaning, leaning her legs and hip, hips against you. Her upper, her upper, her, her upper thighs press, press on your stiffness fairly hard. The bra, the bra she's wearing look, looks to be bearing a heavy load. You lick your, you lick your lips and move your fingers up her back. Blindly, you, fum, you fumble with the mag, with the magic lock. Applejack. Rest, rest her head, head on your shoulder, panting softly. Her sweaty scent cloud, clouds your mind and harden, hardens your manhood. You sli your slick fingers slide over the clasp repeatedly. You curse, you curse and brutish, brutishly f use more force. Applejack pushes, pushes away and grins up at you. Maybe we ought to, maybe we ought to move now, she suggests. I promise it'll be fun. You, you suddenly not a, not a scent. You re you reach inside the driver the driver's side door and open and open the trunk. Applejack bends bends down just just as you stand up, taking your sweet sweet time to retrieve retrieve her hat from the sea. Her round butt is sticking straight up at you, and you feel compelled to touch it again. You forsake judgment and give her and give her quasi quasi exposed cheek a hard pinch. It's, instead of y yelting or jolting upright to 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 rebuttal with a hard slap, AJ AJ groans and support supports herself on the steering wheel. Ah, save it, asshole! Applejack Applejack responds to much to much much more response was much more playful. The risk has been worth it. You decide not to push your luck. In the trunk. In the truck rests a, th a thick, large, large blanket and various car accessories like jumper, jumper cables, a jack, some leftover coolant, and other engine fluids. Three spark, three spark plugs, a few desk, deck of car, decks of cards, and and your last stash of water, water bottles. You, fi you figure you can refill at the farmhouse, so you put, so you pull the the last full one out. You slam the. You slam the trunk. You slam the trunk. Close, close, and heave the hot blanket over your shoulder. Applejack is 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 while idly watching the the horizon while playing playing with the sh shoot of grass as you as you walk to the edge of the road. After you, AJ. Applejack, sh shirts in hand, climbs over climbs over the barbed wire and disappears behind the a wall of tall, waving yellow vegetation. Applejack leads. 
is deep by hand only only a dozen steps into the thick grass. Somehow it's even harder in the in the dry country jungle. Here's good enough. Just just flatten just flatten out this damn grass and let and let's lay down already. AJ commands, her voice irritated and anxious. She she rests her she rests her hand on on the front of her shorts, fidgeting with the button. You both you both take long long sweats and sways and kiss briefly, wetting your dry throats. You hold up your blanket high and push forward, moving moving the high grass behind it. It's at least seven feet tall here. You manage to create your own plot and plot a flat line and lay down on. Applejack happily happily lifts 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 your flatten flatten everything by rolling around on the soft hot blanket. She ends up she ends up underneath you, smiling up at her at your face. You quickly peck her lips once, once, then twice, a third time. She hold, she holds your head down and presses presses her lips firmly to yours. You waste a little time slipping your tongue into her sweet mouth. Her tongue dances with yours. Her hips also move, move and dig into your waist. You roll over on onto your back, enjoying the full weight of Applejack on your body. Her, her big breasts nearly sp spill out on their own. You try again. You try again at the at the class. Finally, you compre comprehend the contraction, and her brazier slips slips off easily. Her great round tits bounce bounce as you lay back on the soft blanket. Applejack giggles thoroughly as she watch watches you reach up to hold them. The full gloves are really really warm to the touch. They yield. The yield to your fingers, flying them, flying around them as you squeeze. You take, you take, you take the left, the left nibble between, between your pointer and thumb and pinch hard. AJ shrieks briefly, stifling her pain to pleasure. The cloth wicks away some of your sweat, but not, but not much of the odor. Applejack is so engrossed that she probably doesn't mind. She pu she puts her palms down on either side, either side of side of you, and supports for support and smiles, prompting you to to continue. You take you take your right hand and pull Applejack's ass up so so that she she's just sitting sitting just above your waist. Your rigid cock is so so close to her holy hole. You have to physically shake away images of injecting it into her slit. Her tits now hang down hang down on your face. So you take. So you take the torture, the torture nip into your mouth. You lick it once, then suck lightly. Applejack's hot mods entice, entice you to suck a little harder. You can, you can, you can manage to flick the tip, the tip of her erect nipple, with with the tip of her tongue. You trace a pattern, a pattern quickly, quickly around it, vaguely similar, similar to the alphabet. And AJ, and AJ can, can't hold back jittery laughter. Haha, <laughs> the tickles. Applejack f falls a little bit on t onto your face, her chest convulsing with hysteria. You let her breast out of out of your mouth with an audible smack. You lightly fondle her tits and, and catch a breath. What do you think? You ask her. You ask her suavely, "How f how far are you reaching to go?" You you punch away your question with an interrogative finger direct directly between her legs. Her f her feminist radiates just enough heat heat through your through her jeans so that you can feel it with light pressure. Ah, Applejack Applejack attempts to stop, but her tight jeans pressing against her hot slits seem seem to delay her. Ah, oh, Jesus, I don't know. I haven't seen how big you are. Applejack sits up and, press, and presses her groin into into your lower tors, torso, with the with the weight of her strong, slender figure. I haven't ever had a man. Uh, she chills. She chills off, looking away. I've never had anything other than my fingers inside me. You can't believe what what you're hearing. Applejack, the strong, seductive, slender, sexy, super hot. Super hot thing grinding on top of you has never fucked before. 
Your dick is painfully hard, throbbing in your jeans like an excited greyhound in the greyhound in the gate. You never had sex? You ask her. Haven't you ever had a boyfriend or girlfriend or something? <laughs> oh wow. Applejack rolls rolls onto her side, looking deflated and gazing and gazing into the sky. You immediately regret your race of tone. I had a crush back in high school, but she chose off she left right he left right when things were getting nice. I really miss him for the longest time too. She laughs deject dejectedly. It's kinda silly. She will she rolls over so gloriously topless and looks at you. He's in the Wonderbolts now. He never he never remembered my address, so he's never written. Applejack sits up an angry expression on her face. Hmm. He's in the Wonderbolts now. Could it be possible that is could it be possible that he's Soren? Eh, who knows? Yeah. He had my home a home my home phone in his cell, but he never called. I mean, just just who can remember Tim Tim no. He shut her up with, with a finger to her lips. AJ, he's probably some big shot now. You're wonderful and I'm and I'm here. You pull you pull her you pull her close enough so that so that you can feel her hot breath on your lips. You're right, she whispers. It's just a crush anyway. Yes, screw it. Cliffhanger. Yeah, well. I think I'm actually like almost like almost halfway through this chapter and it's starting to get starting to get really hot. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop right here, so. So and also expect part two sometime on Monday. So uh, I'll probably I'll probably be, I'll probably like do another another fan fiction like in between, of course in between chapters or in between parts of chap parts of chapters. But uh, who knows? Well, anyways, this is Gunnar Stoffer, Gin Rollins 211, signing off.